From the Global Washington Conference in Seattle, Washington, it's the 10th anniversary. I'm Stan Emmert. All of us have been touched by cancer in our family. The Max Foundation can help. Ann Novakowski, welcome. Thank you. So the Max Foundation, tell us exactly what that is. So we believe at the Max Foundation that any person living with cancer should have access to the best treatment and support. We work in about 72 different low and middle income countries where we are able to bridge access to treatment, access to molecular testing for anybody living with cancer. So if you're working in low and middle income countries, I mean most of us here in the West, we don't, we don't think that people outside of our area have cancer, do they? There are a number of patients that we work with in the countries where we uh, have uh, a presence and it's true that cancer is no longer a disease uh, that's influencing and burdening high income countries. Um, we see actually that the patients that we work with in low and middle income countries are diagnosed at younger ages and so it's really impacting people in the prime of their life, in the prime of their income earning years, as well as the prime of their life when they're thinking about starting families and getting married. You know, this is probably a dumb question, but you know, here in the West we've got chemicals that we eat, chemicals that we breathe, all kinds of things that we know are, are causing us cancer, or at least we think that they are. Mm -hmm. But in developing countries, we don't see that they have that, but it sounds like they do. They do. So people are exposed to a wide variety um, of both lifestyle as well as environmental exposures. And the diseases that we work in specifically, there, there isn't always a causative reason for why they have been diagnosed with cancer. And so our goal is, rather than to focus on prevention, is to really ensure that those patients have access to treatment and that they have access to life. So in this then, what's your role? So our role is fourfold. Um, we work with partner physicians on the ground to ensure that uh, patients are being properly diagnosed and referred to our programs. Mm -hmm. We also work with uh, academics such as the Fred Hutch to ensure that we have good diagnosis. We then uh, work with industry partners um, who donate the medicines to the Max Foundation so that we can in turn provide those to patients directly. Uh, we also work with a, a third party logistics provider. One of our partners ensures that the patients actually get the treatment, that it's the right dose to the right patient at the right time. And then we also provide wraparound support. So this entire ecosystem is what we call the Max Access Solution. Starting in January 2017, we have donated more than 4 million dose, daily doses of medication to about 13,000 patients worldwide. Wow. And that number is continuing to grow, particularly as we see the burden of cancer increasing in the countries where we work. How do people find you? I mean, is it, is it the person who has cancer that finds you, or is it the healthcare provider, or is it the delivery agent? Sometimes it's the patients. The patients are desperate to survive, to live, to be with their loved ones. And they may do a Google search and find us online. Uh, a lot of times though, and the best way to reach us is through our partner physicians. We have a physician network of more than 200 physicians in the countries where we work. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine that um, sometimes patients are diagnosed with a primary, at a primary health care clinic, but they really need specialized care, the support of an oncologist or a hematologist. And so we've been fortunate to partner with most of these hematologists and oncologists. Well, so you don't actually take the medicine and, and uh, deliver it someone else does that? We deliver it to the physicians at the hospitals where they treat patients who oh. then in turn dispense to the patients. We are able to track each and every single patient which is another uh, benefit of our program. We can really ensure that it's reaching the right patient at the right dose. At the so right it's kind of like it's a data analytics as well. It is, it is. And so with this world of knowledge then that is, that is being created, um, do cancer researchers come to you and say, we really need your information to help us? Um, in some cases, I think because of the sustainable development goals, we have seen governments become quite interested in the work that we're doing. And we ourselves have spent quite a lot of time this last year uh, developing our evaluation framework so that we can share the good work that we're doing with our partners and with the world. 
who is a likely partner of yours? So definitely our treating physicians in the countries where we work. They are our primary partner and without physician advocates, patients wouldn't have access to treatment. I've been in some clinics in some very remote areas of Africa. I don't know how you could, I mean, it's hard to just get there, much less deliver medicine there. Right. How do you right. do that? So we also rely on our uh, third party logistics provider to make sure that uh, we are providing medicines in a very um, robust and secure channel to the the clinics where patients are accessing treatment. What's the biggest challenge that you have in your work? Our biggest challenge is ensuring that every patient has treatment that needs it. There is still a lot of unmet need and the Max Foundation is still very interested in expanding our work, growing it to scale, uh, identifying additional disease areas where we can support patients. Right now you're just working in cancer? We are. Any particular kind of cancer? So our uh, CEO and co-founder, Pat Garcia Gonzalez, um, her stepson was touched by chronic myeloid leukemia. Mm -hmm. And at that time there was no access to treatment. It was a bone marrow transplant. And sadly he fought bravely for three years and then he passed away. Uh, several years later, Gleevec hit the market. It is this magic bullet that has transformed chronic myeloid leukemia from a fatal disease into a chronic condition. And so we have quite a bit of experience in CML and it's the model and best practice that we've established around that disease area that we're hoping to expand and grow into other disease areas. There's been some tremendous work in uh, cancer treatment uh, in the past several years, particularly in the field of immunotherapy. Right. Uh, Fred Hutch, uh, Cancer Research Center right here in the Seattle area. Uh, you know, one of your partners is certainly one of the ones who is pioneering that work. Um, how can you keep up? You know, we are very fortunate to be based in the Seattle area near the Fred Hutch and to have the benefit of all of these experts and scientific minds who are doing really incredible work. And it's only because of innovation in cancer care that we've, we have been so successful. Um, the traditional chemotherapy, intravenous uh, cocktail that, that patients historically have taken to treat mm -hmm. cancer, um, that is a very complicated system to, to impact. And so the companies that have developed these targeted therapies for cancer have enabled us to do really wonderful work. What is, in your mind, your biggest success story? And then I'm gonna ask you the second question. What is your biggest success yet to be? So there is a patient that um, our CEO in particular loves to share, and it's a patient who was diagnosed perhaps 10, 15 years ago. Um, he lives in the mountains in Bolivia, and he walks. He spends an entire day walking down the mountain to the cancer referral hospital where he is treated on a regular basis he is able to access treatment and our goal is to ensure that when he makes that walk that takes him all day through the night that that drug is waiting for him that he will never be turned away from the clinic because the drug has not reached the patient so our goal is to ensure that that is in place for every patient enrolled in our program as far as the future um, I think that there's just so much more work to be done in the field of cancer care. I think, and I'm, I'm appreciative that organizations are paying more and more attention to NCDs. NCDs will overtake the, the biggest health problems that we face in these last few centuries. And to be able to uh, give people a chance at life and time with their family is important to all of us. You're here at the Global Washington Conference. Uh, I gotta ask, has that been good for you? It has been. It's wonderful to make the connections that we have here at the Max at, at Global Washington, uh, to, to hear what other organizations are doing, to, to have an opportunity to learn from others who are really top of the class uh, when it comes to development and global health. And thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.